nuclear power. To some, it sounds menacing, but each day operators of the plant just a few miles north of Omaha oversee the process of making electricity. Tonight, reporter Josh Egbert has incredible access to the Fort Calhoun power station. Turning on your lights or even watching KMTV, the power to generate that comes from here, the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. KMTV was the first television station granted rare access inside this facility as they prepare to refuel this nuclear plant. So there's 176 of those in one fuel assembly. They are 12 foot tall zirconium alloy rods and they make Omaha light up. Inside those pins is 223 uranium pellets. Those pellets are what actually fission to make the power to make the heat which turns our turbine to make the electricity. Every year and a half, OPPD shuts down Fort Calhoun to replace its nuclear fuel. Right now, he's checking the bottom of the assembly and the feet. That's an inspection tool to make sure that the bottom of the assembly sits properly when it's inside of the core. For the very first time, OPPD invited our cameras inside the plant to show us how it works in its most sensitive operations. Tim Bussey, a nuclear engineer at Fort Calhoun, showed us around. We're looking for any defects or anything like that in the fuel so that when it goes into the core to operate for another year and a half, that it operates without any issues. Each Wednesday, the plant receives a shipment of fuel assemblies. Nuclear engineers then unpack them for meticulous inspection. What our job is, is to make sure that the manufacturers that we purchased the fuel from actually made the fuel correctly. Each assembly weighs about 1,275 pounds. Inside each of those rods is uranium pellets, with each pellet producing about the same amount of electricity as 2,400 pounds of coal. In my opinion, nuclear power is, is cleaner and safer than coal. Fort Calhoun provides one-third of the electricity OPPD supplies to customers. Once the assemblies are inspected, they're placed in reinforced concrete structures and put into a giant-sized pool. In a few weeks, those rods will be put to work, providing power for years to come. When we pull that rod out, now all the fission can occur, now all the power can happen. Fort Calhoun will go offline one month from now for about 45 days while they refuel something they do every year and a half. Reporting from Fort Calhoun, Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News. Levac going on about 15 minutes from here. Pretty fascinating, really.